Today is Sunday, January 25th, I believe. Um, usually it's my rest day, but yesterday Lexington's parents were in town, um, and so we kind of spent the day with them, so we're working out today. So we have legs today, deadlift focus, um, and I really want to focus this video around mobility. A lot of people don't understand the benefits of mobility. They think about it as stretching. They don't understand the actual benefits it has on your lifting. So I wanted to take you guys through my personal um, warm-up I do every time before either of my leg days. Really helps open up my hips, loosen up my hamstrings, um, yep, hip flexors, glutes, everything, my lower back. Um, and this is something that I've used that has helped me recover from my lower back injury that you guys hear me talking about. So if any of you guys are having back injuries or back pain or you feel like your range of motion is very limited, I mean, this is the problem. It's mobility. It's A lot of people don't FOMO. It, it starts out being painful. A lot of people think of it as just stretching, um, which it's really not. It has multiple benefits, which I'll talk about probably in the voiceover. But um, So I just got... I'll show you guys what I usually have. So I have my, um, this is like a lacrosse ball. It's a little bit bigger, so I use this sometimes. Um, I have my lacrosse ball too, obviously. I have a small foam roller. I don't really use this as much. And I just got this rumble roller. Um, and this actually, I've had about three different foam rollers. This is by far the best foam roller out there. So if you guys are looking to buy one, um, that's definitely one to go for, I would say. And then I just got a shipment from Amazon. I figured I might as well show you guys. And got 24 white monsters. So those are definitely my favorite. Not to mention that they're so macro friendly because, yeah, I mean, there's their calories. So got monsters, 24 pack for $30. I don't know if Amazon still has that, but, and free shipping. So if any of you guys like that, I went ahead and jumped on that. And that's about it, guys. I'm about to... Have a little pre-workout snack and then head to the gym and I'll record my warm-up for you guys and see you then. What's going on guys? So I just wanted to say that this video isn't going to be um, a vlog style video because by the time I combined all the footage between the mobility and the workout it was already pretty long. But the next video should be a day of eating and that'll be a, a vlog style video with very little training footage. So to get right into this, I just wanted to talk about mobility and the difference between that and stretching. Um, when you stretch, really what you're doing is lengthening your muscle and then shortening it. But with mobility, it's more of a movement-based uh, approach that kind of frees up your joints, frees up your tissues to create a better pattern of movement and efficiency in a lift. So what you just saw was um, to really open up the hip flexors with the banded distraction. Um, that really puts your femur into the front of your hip socket and then you can kind of shift your weight around to find like those areas. After um, I went to the lacrosse ball, this is a little bit bigger than lacrosse ball to really hit like the bigger muscles and I'm foam rolling out my piriformis, uh, my glute medius and really that opens up a lot of the tightness in your lower back. And then I went on to show you guys um, my hip flexors also. So to kind of find that sticky spot in between um, either your side hip or the front of your hip and then what you would call smashing is kind of moving throughout the rough areas of the tissue, the kind of stuff that clicks, um, that's painful, kind of sitting in there, letting your tissue, um, letting the ball go as deep into your tissue as possible to really open it up. And just for future reference, I kind of jumbled uh, these clips together so it's not in a specific order, but I like to foam roll before I do my actual dynamic stretching and my banded distraction. Um, the last thing that I like to do is the single leg flexion, which is kind of to improve the, your movement pattern in the squat specifically. So you kind of have the band to help you, but you don't need the band. You keep your foot on the ground, then you're forcing your knee out to create that torque at the bottom of your squat. Um, you want to be forcing your knees out and externally rotating them and so as you can see from all the different angles the band distraction just helps to open up the hip more but the thing that people don't realize is they'll take their feet off the ground and in a squat um, because you're trying to mimic movements you're actually going to do with mobility you keep your foot grounded um, and then you're forcing the knee out and so doing this as you'll see um, if you just do one leg and then stand up and try to squat it's going to be much easier to push that knee out and that's another key with mobility is to you know see a difference 
in that time. It takes multiple sessions and you're supposed to continually do it, but at the same time you also see differences um, immediately. So after this, I just got a hip circle. So me and Lux, we just use that to warm up after um, to do more dynamic stretching, walking with it, squatting with it, forcing our knees out. And then we went to the actual workout. So today called for a four by three. Um, Luxury's doing 275 for all four sets. I actually auto-regulated because what I was supposed to do um, felt a little bit easier. So as you'll see pretty soon, this is her second, actually this is her fourth set. So we filmed the first and the fourth set and it's looking pretty good. Um, it's moving well. We won't be going for singles and new uh, maxes for a good four weeks, I believe. So we have some time to really work on that and see if we can hit some new maxes in that fifth week according to the program we're running. So this was my third set. I was originally doing 345, um, but I bumped it up to 355 for this set of three. As you can see, I'm just chalking my hands, chalking the bar. I've never really used straps on deadlifts and I really like the mix grip, so I feel like straps would be weird um, for me to use because I, I double overhand, I feel like just wouldn't be comfortable. And this weight felt pretty good. It went up decently easy. Um, I'm having the same issues with my uh, speed off the floor is my problem, whereas a lockout is very, very easy. So this is the last set. I bumped it up to 365 here. Um, which I've never done except for when going for singles and the second rep actually went up easier than the first one so It's looking good. My deadlifts. I'm still trying to work with I'm not feeling um, that great, but You know, I, I'm just trying to get the repetition and the pattern and the movement um, ingrained so that it feels like a natural movement every single time and then I'm kind of working on Increasing the weight. So here looks me just doing some stiff leg deadlifts um, in the last video I talked about how I would do deadlift squats and then back to an accessory for deadlifts but today um, it was actually really really busy so we did stiff leg right after we did squats and then we just did some hypertrophy work for squats so nothing crazy we had 225 on the bar um, and just did a few reps of 225 dropped a 45 off and then just burnt out with 140, 135 and we did a super set with that and that was it guys we did some more accessory work but as usual i didn't film it for you um that's basically the video guys if you have any questions about my warm-up it wasn't that extensive i do other things but i really think that those are the most important things to really for myself to really open up my hip flexors um and to get my glute medius and my piriformis to uh really open up my back as well are my two main issues i also recommend you know foam rolling your quads kind of your hamstrings if those are issues that you have but i guess it depends on the individual person and that's about it like i said the next video that is going to be out is going to be on either friday or actually it's going to be out on saturday and that's going to be a full day of eating um because that is my refeed day so i hope you guys enjoyed the footage and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate the support. If you do want to support us, um, please share the video, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow.